What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel where I share honest information about fat loss and fitness. My name is Bong and yes, I am wearing this shirt which <laughs> I think I've never worn it out since my girlfriend got it for me because uh, it's so transparent. As you can see, it's, it's like pantyhose. And this is from Unique Long. Uh, <laughs> it's the Arism, Arism what, model or, or sort. And it's like literally, <laughs> I think if this is a little bit more um, tight, I would end up like not wearing any shirt, just some some silk over my chest. And this is the 11th day since I last went to a gym and the 10th day since it started, well, CMCO here and MCO in Malaysia. Well, as you can see, I have been maintaining at home with my trusted dumbbells, a pair of dumbbell and my resistant band. And a lot of people, this is what I have been uh, trying to discuss and trying to talk about to many people who are in the gym uh, especially when you see those people right and uh, you are using one machine let's say uh, you're using the leg press machine and this apply to well a lot of people I've seen in the gym especially now here's one example you're sitting you just sat on a leg press machine and uh, probably towards the 10th the 11th 20th rep and someone out of nowhere came up to you and asked you, are you done? Talk to the hand. And of course I say, no, I still have more reps. And this fella would just stand very close where they make sure that you have eye contact with them. And they're like, they just stare at you. And when you look at them, they show you that impatient face that they are waiting for your machine. And you know, there are many times, because I train during an hour where it's not peak and there's not a lot of people, right? And when I look around, it's quite empty. There's the leg extension machine, there's a leg curl machine, even the Smith machine is empty and there are lots of barbells and dumbbells. <sighs> See, that's the problem with a lot of people. They complain that they don't have results. But the fact is, they are so stubborn that they set a program and they want to... You know, in Chinese, we say die, die, stick to the program. You know, meaning that they stick to the program blindly and it's not... Well, flexible enough that's it they are not flexible enough see if in my case I go to a gym and if someone is using the leg press machine someone is using the leg extension machine there is still one leg curl machine right even if that is being used there's still barbell which I can do squats on or maybe I can do deadlift on or maybe I can do walking lunges on or maybe I can do well uh, uh, calf raise you see, there are so many workouts to train your legs. That's how I set my workout, right? So I'm saying, these people, they complain that they don't get results because they are being interrupted. And then they complain people for training too long on one machine. There is so many machines inside the gym. It's not like, you know, the 80s, the 90s gym in Miri where there's not much to train on, there's not much machine or equipment inside the gym. Gyms now is almost fully equipped, if not partially 80% equipped. If you see someone doing that, go and find another equipment or another exercise. You know, that is how I set my mindset. Don't complain. See, there are so many people, they complain, you know, they say, oh, people are using machine for too long and, and, and it's wrong. But you have to look at the situation. If that person sits on the machine with their phone for, I don't know, maybe half an hour, then that's wrong. You know, if that person is constantly grinding on the machine, fully focused on their exercise and not wasting time, that's a whole different ballgame. 
You know, even if they're sitting on that machine for half an hour, but they're grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding for half an hour, maybe every pause, every now and then they pause for five seconds, 10 seconds. And that is how each workout should be. And that is completely different from those people who sits on the machine, 12, maybe 10 to 12 reps. And I, I don't know how they train with a handphone, with a smartphone inside their pocket. Or, you know those leg press machine? They put it just below their balls. You know, for the guys, they put it just below their balls. And <laughs> how do you guys train? You know, it's like 10 reps, and they lower the machine, they lower the weight. <gasps> and they start. <laughs> What's the point of working out in that manner, right? Put your smartphone away, put it down somewhere, okay? If you can, set it to silent and focus. Finish the workout. For those kind of people, their actual workout, probably maybe around 10 minutes. But because of the handphone, they hog on the machine. You know, they took the machine and, and use it for half an hour to one hour, whereby their actual workout is only 10 minutes. And those people are the ones which you should complain and ask them not to stay on the machine for long hours. Not the one who is grinding without fail for the whole 30 minutes. And let's get back to the topic. So what I'm saying is, you have to understand your workout. You have to understand the fundamental, the basic, the foundation of your workout. And how do I set my workout? And how do I set my workout routine? Well, before going to the gym, I already know I want to train my chest and my legs. And with the legs, probably I'm gonna set it to quads, maybe today quads, or hamstring, or glutes. And of course, that's definitely gonna be calves. Gym is a public area. There will definitely be other people in the gym using the machine. And so happen, if I were to set my workout to be, okay, number one, I have to do that lift. Then after that, I go to my uh, leg curl. And then I have to go to do this and that and this and that. If I set it one, two, three, four, five. And if I'm not flexible enough, and I do one, two, and suddenly when I'm about to do three, someone is, you know, someone is training on that machine. And what are you gonna do? Most people I see, they got stuck and they, they build up this, this anger and agony and, and stress, you know. Oh, I want to use that machine and it's being used by other people. And then, you know, they look at you and then these are the people who will look at you and then, when are you gonna finish? When are you gonna finish? You know, what's the point? You're losing, you're getting cold, your whole body is getting cold, your palm is gone. And that defeats the purpose of a good workout, right? That is why I would set my workout by region. And I go in, I'm gonna do my workout. And even so, if I were planning one, two, three, four, five, you know, I, I have the next one, I'm finish, almost finishing my, maybe let's say my bench press, you know, I'm about to go to the cable machine and someone is so happy, someone is at the cable machine. Well, immediately, I have to devise a plan. You know, maybe I'll go with the incline, you know, dumbbell flies, or maybe I'll do the, you know, pull over, and I will not stop. If you want to have a good workout, that's how you should be. Be flexible with your workout and don't get agitated. Of course, a bit of rage when you're working out is good, you know, you know, those kind of like rage, you know. But you have to understand how to manipulate that rage into a good workout. It's not manipulate that rage into a stress. And then you look at everyone as if they, they owe you money or something. And that is why I'm saying, if you want to plan your workout, be flexible. Okay, tell yourself you want to train your chest. Train it as hard as possible. Train it as intense as possible. You know, of course, there's definitely some, sometimes you want to have a good program because you just started. But I'm saying, understand the foundation, the fundamental of that workout. 
of every single workout you can find. Understand them and you can fully maximize that workout. There are times where I've been doing probably around like 500 reps of uh, dumbbell, incline dumbbell bench press and other blue, someone is using all the machines and I continue, no? I continue the cycle. You know, I tell myself, okay, I'm gonna do 500 reps for this uh, workout. I'm gonna do 500 reps for the flat bench. I'm gonna do 500 uh, uh, reps for uh, Smith machine or probably the cable fly, you know, the low, low pulley cable fly or uh, high pulley cable fly, you know. If someone is using that, then I will continue with the same workout, another 500. So I ended up with 1,000 reps of dumbbell incline bench press. There's nothing wrong with that. It's still workout. You're still pushing your muscles. You are still using your muscles, making your muscles to grow. So my advice to you is be flexible. Understand the workout. It doesn't really matter where, you know, you have to have five sets of 12 of incline and five sets of 12 of flat or five sets of, and, and five sets of 12 of flat bench. You can do 10 sets of 12 of incline or 15 sets of 12 of incline. It is still training your chest. So the next round, maybe the next cycle of your chest, well do 15 sets of 12 of the flat and the next one, incline, a decline. There's nothing wrong with that. You are still training. At the end of the day, focus on still moving, still grinding. Well, I have received some requests asking me to shoot some workout video, you know, those routine videos and everything. But uh, looking at the amount of videos on YouTube, it's flooded with all these kind of workouts, especially now, you know, where most part of the world is under lockdown or under quarantine or under their own uh, maybe MCO and CB, you know. So many home workout routine and all those things, you can Google them you can go YouTube and search for them. It's flooded. And hence, that's why I don't do it. Because it will be the same thing. And you know, workout is still workout. The point that you need to focus on is to know how intense you can push your workout. Routines are just routines. What makes a good workout is how you set your mindset on training it. I hope you have a good day, a good week. And for us here in Malaysia, please stay safe, stay home, stay away from crowded area, wear your mask and practice physical distancing. And remember, okay, remember if you are conducting group classes, your know, group exercises, physical distancing is important too, okay? Wear your mask. A lot of people will tell you that you know, don't, you can't wear a mask when you're working out. Have you tried? Or have you set your mindset before going to the workout and tell yourself, oh, if I have a mask, I cannot work out. You see, initially, I thought it would be hard to work out in and takes time to practice on. I got used to it on the first workout. Even, even before I went to the gym, I have been wearing masks to work out inside my room for a long period of time so that I can adjust easily when I get back to the gym. A little secret, I didn't have a hard time at all. And I have a history of asthma. Do you want me to do a topic on uh, for those people with asthma and how they should train to build up their lung strength so that they will be able to train hardcore like I do? And if you know how I train, you would know that I don't train light and I have overcome that asthma problem. Let's all stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.